Today in this video, we are going to see that how can you uh, run your flask in your VS code. So first you will be needing VS code for that. Just go on Google and search for VS code. Click on the uh, click on this and download for Windows. Download will automatically start. Or you can uh, go for an alternate method that is Microsoft Store. Here you can also search VS Code, Visual Studio Code. You can directly download this from here, but we will download this from here. Click on this. I accept the agreement. Keep it default. If you wish, you can create this. Uh, create this desktop icon, and and make sure to check these options. Click on install. Now it will uh, start installing. This is almost installed. I will fast over the video. Okay, launch VS Code. Here, what you have to do is search for Python here. This is the extension option. You have to search for Python here. Yeah, I have already installed this extension. You can also install this extension. And then just uh, go here. Open folder. Or uh, you can just create a new file directly from here. This will be our Python file. Click on, click here. Click on show and run commands. You have to search for Python create environment here. Click on venv. Okay. Firstly, you have to select the folder. I will create a folder here. Uh, named as tutorial. Select this folder and create a new file here. That will be a Python file. And let's name this app.py. So app.py is created. Now click here and go to this option. Click on create environment. Now select VNV. Select this option. This will create a virtual environment here. You can see that our virtual environment is successfully created here. So now you have to install a flask here. Just go on terminal and new terminal. Here you can see that virtual environment is successfully activated. Now you have to type pip install flask. Flask is successfully installed. You can see this. Just try now we will just write our basic program. From flask. Import flask. Just type till here. And type this command. And then uh, create a route for this. At app.route. Make sure that the route must be in string.
you have to create a function here I will create an index function sorry okay return hello world add I have dot run we will set the debug mode to true now we can run this app you can see that our app is successfully running click on this and you can see that hello world guys that's all for this video hope you have enjoyed this one thank you